Good evening. Welcome to the Moira. How can I assist you? Absolutely. Will it proceed? So tell me, friend, what are you in the mood for? That's fine. If you'd like to think over some options, there's lots of things we can do. This time of year, there's lots of options we can do for the season of love, of course. Is this your first time indulging with us? Wonderful. Welcome. Let me explain how it works here at the Moira. My name is Albrin. You may call me Al, it makes it much easier. I will be your bartender this evening. I will prepare you drinks, serenade you with all kinds of information, whatever you see fit. My job is to give you the best and most comfortable experience possible. Are you waiting on someone this evening? No. Well, easier to talk to you that way then. And since we are coming up on the season of love, is there something in particular you feel in the mood for? Any particular beverages? Hmm. Not sure? Hmm. Well, I can definitely find something for your tastes. Hmm. Would you like something that's specifically... In relation to Valentine's? Hmm. I may have something. Give me a moment. Hmm. This. And this. Mm-hmm. And this. Perfect. What am I making? <laughs> well, I'm making you a love potion number nine. I mean, it's quite appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> mm. So, there's gin, there's simple syrup, lemon, pomegranate, egg white. Don't give me that face. Trust me, it's not as scary as it sounds. Uh, and then we work with that. We can do something like that for you. Perfect. Let's do this. Glass. Two ounces of gin. One ounce of simple syrup. One ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of pomegranate juice. Half of one egg white. Ice. Shake. So tell me, what brought you here today? I mean, since it is your first time here at the Moira, there's usually a reason why most folks show up here. Or were you just experimenting. I mean, it's not often that people come here specifically. Usually, they come here because they're a particular crowd. But I can tell that you're not uh, my usual clientele. Yeah. I would say you're not. I mean, most of my clientele come of the more, um, unusual variety. I mean, the last gentleman I had in here was a half-orc. Another one that came in is a pixie. I get the occasional seraphin. I sometimes get mostly incubus or succubus. But you don't seem like any of them. So what is a mortal doing here? That's a better question. 
Oh, don't get me wrong. It's pleasant to see something interesting. And you're not too bad on the pleasant part. But, I will say, it's unusual to see someone of your being here. Hmm. A family member recommended this place to you. Said it was a good place to grab a good drink. You have a name by chance? Oh! Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I have met them once or twice before. They were meeting with a regular client of mine here. Mm hmm. Well, I will gladly make something for you. And that should be enough shaking. Pour it out. Here you go. Go on. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Hmm. So tell me. How do you plan to spend the rest of your evening? Unsure so far? Oh. You have a question? Go right ahead. What am I? Oh. Don't you know, it's not very nice to ask a lady what she is right off the bat, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Please. I look human. Is that what's confusing you? It's because I'm a witch, darling. That's the answer to your question. I mean, at some point, we've been around for so long. Most of us can be around for quite some time, except we uh, stay where we don't have to deal with people that don't like us very much. But we do what we can. So, usually, people that end up here they need advice, help, an answer to something. And based on some of the stuff that I can tell, you have something on your mind. And it's something you'd like answered. You want to know about love. Isn't that right? Don't worry, darling. I'll answer that for you. I have a feeling that you're worried about it. Not that you can't find love, but that you're... How would I put it? You are... afraid... of going too far in and getting hurt. Is that correct? How did I know? Call it a bit of, uh, intuition. The Moira is very good at giving, uh, us as bartenders information on clients. So what do you do? Well, my dear. It's very simple. You take one step. That's right. One step. <laughs> I'll explain. You see, everyone thinks love is a very simple thing. They can move from place to place to person to person. It's really not that easy. 
think of it、uh, love like a journey in general, or traveling. Every place you stop along the way of your journals, you take a moment to see where you're going. Some people they travel and then they stay in one place. Some people they travel from place to place to place, which is fine for them and brings them happiness. But if there's a point where you feel like none of those give you happiness, then you should start to look about where you're going first before you jump onto the route. If you're worried that you are not worthy of love, I will tell you already that you are mistaken. Everyone is worthy and deserving of meeting the one person in their life that will bring them love and joy. The person that raises them up, keeps them strong. Not that they don't have strength of their own, but two pillars are better than one. Everyone deserves to find that person that keeps them and their spirit tethered to the right place, keeps them from going too far out. <laughs> I see. Trust me, dear. You don't have to worry about that. You may not know if right now is the time for you. You may worry that you'll never find someone who does that for you. But nevers aren't real. Nothing is impossible, truly. Not in great forces of the universe like love, and compassion, kindness. There are no impossibilities in those things. I can bet you out there there is someone who is dying to meet you. Who has been thinking of you every single day. But it is getting quite late. Are you enjoying the cocktail? Wonderful. Is there something else in the drink? Hmm. Just a little extra house blend or something we have here. That's all. Don't worry about it. Can I give you some advice? When you leave out through the doors, just. Take a deep breath. Think to yourself that you're deserving of love, and I promise you, the answer to your situation will be fixed sooner than you think. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You have a wonderful night. Don't worry, this one's on me. You seem like you needed someone tonight. I hope to see you again here soon. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry for bumping into you. Oh, it's lovely to meet you. Looks like another success with the love potions. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, everybody! It's me, Gemini Audios. 
I just wanted to give a big shout out to all of the people that have been supporting me recently. We made it to 300 and counting now uh, by the time we post this video. I plan to have a Valentine's Day special coming up as well as some cool new art as well as I plan to stream more. So remember, you are loved and Gemini loves you. Bye bye!